Hey, Don Copeland here. I'm the UV Products Managers here at Coldesi, and we're here to roll out and show you our latest addition to the UV line, the Muto ValueJet 426 UF. As you can see, looking at the machine, it is a small entry-level machine, tabletop-based, got a lot of really powerful features. We're going to allow you to bring a lot of things to your business. You know, if you're doing things like cell phone cases, uh, doing uh, small acrylic awards, golf balls, pens, a lot of ad specialties type of items. Even for people who are doing uh, industrial type applications like, like metal cases and plastic cases and things like that, as long as they fit within the, the bounds of the machine, it's a great fit and it's a great entry level machine for folks. Give you a bit of the specs on the machine. Got a print area of 19 inches wide by 13 inches deep. We can print on items up to 2.75 inches deep. The machine itself comes standard with a vacuum bed for holding down light thin materials and hold them in place. And it's also got the ability to do multi-pass printing to do textures. It has the ability to print, it has channels to print white, clear, and four colors, which means you can use the white and the clear to do build-ups, to do textures for underneath. You can do spot colors with white and spot colors with clear. So you can highlight items on your designs. You can do things like textures on top of it to make it look like a water droplet on top of a print. A lot of applications for this that, you, that they're just really powerful. If you're new to UV printing, where's this going to fit into your business? I'm sure all your customers that you're either doing t-shirts for or other items that you're doing with some of the other equipment you've maybe gotten from Cold Essay are also buying all kinds of ad specialties for their business. They could be small refrigerator magnets, it could be, like I said, pens, uh, calculators, all these different items. This is where a small UV printer fits in. Nice thing about it is, is if you have a business where you're doing a lot of custom work, small items, you may actually find that having multiples of these makes sense because you can now set up multiple ones to do certain specific items and rock and roll with them. So when we start to look at a, a UV printer and what it brings to your business, the other thing to look at is how am I going to be able to use this? How easy is the machine to use? So if you've been a customer of Cold Essies or looking at any of our other products, you're going to, you're going to appreciate this. Use the same software to drive this machine as we use to drive our compressed line of UV printers, as we use to drive our DTG brand direct to garment printers, and our digital heat effects color lasers, right? The same interface there, so if you're using any of those other products, you're going to find this is a really quick transition. If you're not using any of those other products and you're, 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 you've got a standard graphics package you work with, say you work with Photoshop, you work with Illustrator, you work with Corel Draw, you're getting PDF files, AI files, all kinds of files. The software makes it so easy to get the graphics from other programs and bring them in and turn them into what you need them to be on a UV printer. You can take them into the design software that comes with the machine and quickly add variable data to it. So you can add names and serial numbers. You can add barcoding to it inside of there. You can also take it and very quickly generate textures. Textures are build up layers of ink that allow you to actually feel the print. All that is doable in the software that comes with the machine. It's a great package. It's a great way for somebody who hasn't got a lot of experience to quickly be able to transition into doing UV printing. Top all that off with the fact that it's still backed up not only just by Coldesi and our great service and support, but you got the backing of a major player, Muto. Okay, so undoubtedly, if you've been looking at a UV printer from Coldesi, the question's going to come up. When do I look at the 426, and when do I look at one of your compressed line printers? And that's a really, really valid question, and there's a lot of factors you can weigh in on, and it'll help you make that decision. Uh, number one, budget may be one of your concerns, right? You're looking at about a $10,000 price difference between the machines. Uh, number two, it may just be the door opening. We have found that with these, sometimes it's a challenge for people. If you have home-based businesses or some, some older offices just don't have big enough doors for these to get through, and it's a lot more of a challenge to get the machine in. Uh, but when it starts to come down to what the machine can do, now when we start, that's where the rubber meets the road. We kind of lowered the bed down here to show you. As I mentioned over here on the ValueJet 426, we have a 2.75 inch gap here on the the Compress 600, we have 11.8 inches of depth. What does that translate into? Well, very easily translates into a basketball with a little bit of space to hold the basketball and a lot of other items. So if you're looking for a bit of depth, you certainly are not going to. If you're doing memorial items and things like that, a lot of them are 6, 8, 10, 12 inches deep. We have right here, it's an electrical box we've done earlier. You can see that fit, that would not work in the 426. Um, Another big difference is going to be the print area. 24 inches by 18 inches versus 19 inches by 13 inches. 
is going to pick up a lot of things like coroplast signs, standard yard signs on coroplast are 18 by 24 by 18, going to fit nicely onto this. They won't fit into the value jet. Uh, if you're doing a lot of printing, even if you're doing smaller items where ink is a concern for you, you're going to find that the cost of ink is about a third more on the value jet than it is on the compress. So those are a lot of the factors that would weigh in. As I mentioned before, the similarities, same software, so your transition is very easy between the two. If you did start out with a value jet and you migrated to our 600 or even our 1200, our larger of the compress machines, you're going to have no learning curve on the software. So you have a bulk ink system over on here on the compress, cartridge-based system over here on the MUTO. What's the difference between those? Well, obviously there's more cost associated with a cartridge-based system. And the cartridge-based system is going to require a little bit more maintenance on the ink itself in the sense of, as I was mentioned earlier, you need to shake the cartridges, especially the white cartridges on this. With the compress unit, as we've had for years on our direct to garment printers as well as our compress, we have our WIM system that circulates and stirs the white ink at each, on a regular basis during the times of use as well as areas of not use. So those are the kind of the combination of the differences between the machines. They really are not you know, overlapping that much. It really, you have to look at your business, see what your applications are, see what your growth potential is, and make your decision from then. If you're looking to just start into the UV marketplace, adding it to your apparel decoration business, you should take a serious look at the, the MUTO. I think you're gonna find that it's gonna handle about 90% of the items that you would ever have to address with a UV printer. And if it starts to get to the point that more and more of that business starts to tip into needing larger print areas, you have the compress you can step right into.